Welcome, this is Junk Dump, and today we're going to talk about plugging the oil filter bypass in an Oldsmobile oil filter housing. You can see here, this is the flap. In my experience with all the engines that I've worked on, I've never seen uh, a plugged oil filter. It's pretty uncommon, and uh, in my opinion, I would rather have a sudden drop in pressure that I would most likely notice rather than have the chance of any kind of metal going through the engine. I've seen way more issues with metal going through bearings, scraping up your journals, um, than I have with plugged oil filters. And if you change your oil filter frequently enough, this isn't going to be a problem for you at all. So always use high quality oil filters. I recommend Wix. And change your oil. Change those filters. Now there are four indentions that are holding the outer retaining ring in place. So I start by gouging the metal away from the retaining ring. And uh, this takes a little bit of time, so be patient. You can see one here, there's another one there, there's another one in that corner, and over here. Um, the metal is just like a pot metal aluminum alloy, um, so it's, it's pretty soft. Uh, but if you take your time, you can do this. And the reason I do this is that when you're prying out that ring, you don't want to damage the housing in any way. So this makes it easier for that ring to pop right out. And Yahtzee! That retaining ring is out. And this is the retaining ring. Over here is that flap. And this is the spring. You can see down in the housing. And that's the well that the oil would bypass through. So now we're going to go over to the vise. And I'm going to carefully grind down those uh, bumps that you see in the well there. Now the base of those kind of interfere with the tap when I'm tapping it. So I'm just going to grind those out. Now, remember, the metal's really soft here. We're not dealing with steel, so be careful when you're grinding out that you can take off too much material. Now, here you can see down there pretty clearly, um, I took off more material than necessary. I want you guys to be able to see in there um, for this process. Um, it's no big deal. I didn't take off too much but you could take off less and still be successful here. Now I'll use a quarter inch 18 NPT tap. I'm gonna tap that hole out very slowly. I'm gonna start this very carefully. Make sure that I'm level. Make sure that I go in nice and smoothly. Never try to tap too much at a time. It's better to just make a little headway and then back off, clear your threads, go back in. If you feel like you're cranking on it, you are uh, doing it wrong. Now I'm going to grab that plug and test the fitment, see how far it fits down. Um, in this case, it didn't fit down as far as I wanted. I want some more threads in the hole, so I'm going to tap out a little more. Now, once the fitment is good, clean out the passages. Make sure there's nothing rattling around in there. And I'm going to do a final cleaning also before I put this on an engine. Now I'm going to test for leaks by putting a piece of paper towel down into the hole and then spraying some air through and seeing if the paper towel moves. <laughs> that that actually leaked 
past my finger and not the plug there, so we're gonna have to do it again. I'll. And once I'm satisfied there are no leaks, I'm gonna go for the final assembly. Now here's what it looks like before I start. You can see those tap threads down on the bottom and you can see that there's plenty of room to get a plug down in there. This is a standard quarter inch by 18 plug. Um, this one's steel. And I'm gonna use some thread locker. I use uh, 243 blue. It's a good way to seal up threads. It's also a good sealant. And then just thread it into place. And you can see that's what it looks like when it's down in there. That's going to keep any oil from bypassing around the filter. And now you can tighten that back in. Again, don't over tighten it. You don't want to crack the housing or create any cracks that are going to cause leaks. And there you have it. We have now plugged the oil filter bypass in an Oldsmobile oil filter housing. Thanks for watching.